Hi, Kristen. Hi, Tyler. Congratulations on your wedding day. We are so sorry we can't be there, but we know you're going to have a fantastic night. I'm so happy that you guys have found each other, the man of your dreams, your soulmate, and we can't wait to be reunited with you guys again. We look forward to welcome you here in Bali and show you around and uh, have a great time. We love you, we miss you, and we can't wait to meet Tyler. So, because we can't be there, we decided to make a video for you so you know how much you are loved and appreciated by your Canadian side of the family. We have videos from all over the world, and we hope you like it and know how much we love and adore you. Have a great night, and congratulations again. Wedding blessings from the North Island. We're so excited for your wedding. Congratulations, Tyler and Kristen. We hope you have a wonderful day and lots of many happy, joyful years. Have fun. Hey, Kristen and Tyler. Wanting to wish you guys a happy wedding day and a long and happy marriage. We're out for our walk in Bangkok today, which is all locked down. They didn't do very well here in the end. We've got the Klong behind us, which is tied for canal. A little, a mini shot of uh, Thailand. So last, last 10 years have been some of the best of my life. Been next to this man. I'm hoping the same for you guys. We love you. Have a great day. Congratulations. Congratulations, Kristen and Tyler. We wish we could be there with you on this uh, very joyous occasion. If there's one piece of advice we could give you. It's what my uncle gave us on our wedding day 18 years ago, and that is each partner must work 100%. They should give 100% all the time. There's no 50-50. Got to be 100. Anyway, we hope you have a fantastic uh, wedding day and a great life together. Uh, hopefully, we can see you soon. That's right. Okay, congratulations again. Bye. Bye-bye. Congratulations, Kristen and Tyler, on your wedding day from up here in Canada. We really wish we could have been there today, but uh, that's just the way this year's gone. And uh, we all look so forward to seeing you guys soon. And uh, have a great evening and all the best. Congratulations! congratulations. And congratulations from Muffin as well. Hello, Kristen and Tyler. We are sure wishing that we could have been there in person. I am sure it is a great celebration. And we just want to wish you all the best. And we are so looking forward to when we can finally all connect again in person. <laughs> wishing you uh, lots of love, joy, and happiness in your future together. And hopefully we can see you soon. Take care. All the best. Love you. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. So congratulations on your wedding day. Uh, you're an amazing, kind, and loving person, and you have our best wishes as you continue your life with Tyler. Congratulations. 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 You make a wonderful couple. Hi, Kristen. It's your auntie. I wish I was there t today, your special day. I know it'll be a wonderful day for you. I, uh, I'm just having the best thinking about how wonderful it's going to be for you. I'm so glad you found somebody to share your life with. It's very important in life. And uh, as I say, we'll get together as soon as we can. And I love you very much. Congratulations, your aunt. Bye-bye. Congratulations, Kristen and Tyler. I was so looking forward to this day, waiting for the announcement that we would be able to travel from Canada to witness this special occasion. Unfortunately, the pandemic did not allow that to happen. Kristen, Auntie Joyce and I were so fortunate to have you, Jenny and Charlie spend every summer with us as we were growing up. You were no trouble at all. In fact, you even changed your own diaper. It was so great to share our family times with you. A special bond was created. And we appreciated that you continued to visit us in your adult years. Tyler, it was so good to meet you at the border last week. 
I know that Kristen is so, so happy to be taking this new journey with you. To you both, may you have a lifetime full of happiness and love. Cheers. So Kristen, I am so grateful of our relationship. It's grown over um, us being so far apart but we've become closer and closer. I can't wait for us to spend more time together. I know you look absolutely stunning in your wedding dress tonight because I saw a sneak preview. And I just want to let you know that uh, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of the woman you've become. Every time I come back to Canada and visit, you're the first one to come and reach out to me and make the journey across the border to come visit. And I really appreciate it. I love you so much. So uh, one of my favorite songs is uh, going to be played by my daughter, Zarina. She's been practicing and I dedicate this song to you. I hope you like it. Love you. Kristen's cousin Doug and I would like to do a toast to the bride uh, on her special day on behalf of her Canadian family. We all really wish we could have been there today but unfortunately with uh, the way things are today uh, it just was not possible for us to be there. I especially wanted to be there because 27 years ago on this day August 13th Kristen was a candle lighter at our wedding, Tracy and I. So we really would have liked to have been there. Maybe Tracy and I could have come down the aisle to light those candles to a groovy kind of love by Phil Collins, like Kristen did 27 years ago. Ever since Kristen's early days, our family and Kristen have always had a special connection. Uh, she would come and stay at our house over the summer, uh, basically since she was less than a year old. She would arrive on July 1st, stay the entire summer, and go back to Seattle on September 1st. She was always the super fun cousin. We were always looking forward to having her come up. She has a great sense of humor, super outgoing, great sense of adventure. We had so many great memories, uh, things like going to the PE, going to the water slides, going to Flintstone Park camping down a white rock, spending time at the beach. She was always up for lots of fun and uh, she made our summers so much better, her being up here. As Kristen got older, 
she was uh, the connection we had to our family down in Seattle. She always would keep us posted of what's going on down there and who's doing what and telling us stories of her dad, Uncle Lefty. And it was uh, always entertaining. And she continued to be lots of fun coming up and I would go down there and spend time with her. Uh, every time I went to Seattle with friends or with staff things, always look up Kristen and she would always come out to meet me at a Mariners game. Uh, we'd spend uh, lots of time out in the beer gardens in center field, never actually watched one inning of any Mariners game, I'm sure. But we did spend lots of time at Mariners games just in the bullpen out in the center field area. She's also came up and stayed at our place. Uh, this is where she had her first introduction to Canadian cider. She decided that it tasted just like pop, so she decided to have as many as she would if it was pop. But uh, she realized after the Canadian cider is a little bit more potent at about 7%. And um, well, the rest of the night, she struggled a little bit. We'll just leave it at that. She also came up even and uh, participated in one of my staff events. We took a limo with some staff to Vancouver for the night. She made the trek up to Abbotsford and uh, she came with me and my staff and they absolutely all loved her as well. And uh, we had a great night out in Vancouver. The biggest thing about Kristen is just the amount she cares about people. When my mom uh, first got uh, cancer way back, uh, Kristen decided to climb one of the tallest buildings in Seattle and um, raise money for cancer on behalf of my mom. And she did that a few times and she just got so much caring and uh, such a big heart. She always would make the drive up for different occasions and whether it's a birthday, graduation, spend time with my mom. Um, you know, they had a special connection all the way through. And in my mom's last uh, days, Kristen was always to make sure uh, was always there to make sure she was there by her side. Um, she is absolutely someone you can rely on, and uh, a real special person. Also, Tyler, uh, welcome to our family. I'm sure by now you can kind of see what you uh, got yourself into, and uh, and you're still here, so that's a good thing, and uh, shows what kind of a great guy you are. And uh, we all appreciate the love and support that you've given our little cousin. Kristen, my little cousin, who is now the beautiful bride, thank you for being you. We wish you continued happiness. And it is my honor to do a toast to the beautiful bride. However, typically a toast would be raise your glasses with some fancy champagne. We're going to be doing this a bit Canadian style. That's why I'm outside wearing a hockey shirt. This is a Canadian toast. So Kristen, to the bride, happy wedding, wish we were there, love someone, cheers. They say you set them free, but that ain't gonna work for me.